Niners, they beat up on the Giants by 18 points, 30 to 12. Brock Purdy statistically had himself a game. Two touchdowns, no picks, over 300 yards. Niners, 30 points for the third straight game on their way to another win. Now look, in our pre-show meeting, we have conversations before we talk to y'all the country. Pre-show meeting, we were saying, well, are the Niners the best team in the league right now? And Shady said, no, the Eagles. I said, no, the Cowboys. Joy, Joy said, no, the Eagles. James said, no, the Cowboys. So my question then to you, Shady, is why aren't the Niners the best team in football? They're 3-0. and They yeah, look really, good. Really good. Yeah. What else do they still need to prove to you? Where do you stand on uh, I, I think they're really, really good. I mean... When I watched them play uh, last night, I like what I seen. You know, I, I, we talked about this earlier. Y'all didn't, didn't agree with me, but I got to go with the Eagles just because when I go player for player, position for position, it's the Eagles, right? We show different ways to win games. Okay, Jalen Hurts might not be throwing for 300 yards, right, like we've seen before. We know he's not throwing to A.J. Brown on this side, and Devontae Smith on this. Well, it's not happening, but we find ways to win. If you want to take the pass game, cool. We'll run for 200 and, and yep. some yards. 200 with... 50? Huh? Last game. It's a lot of yards. <laughs> Who's the running back? We don't know who it is. Okay, DeAndre Swift. He, I'm hello, I'm here. <laughs> so when I look at this team, then you go to the defense. Any way you want to put it, we have these players. We have these positions. And I love to do matchups. Andy Reid has taught me that. When you, when you play in these games, the matchups win. And we can find any matchup. If it's the running backs against the linebackers, if it's the wide receivers against the, the cornerbacks, if it's the tight ends against the linebackers, whatever it may be, or the safeties, whatever, you got to find a mismatch. And when I look at our team, when we play different teams, like the Cowboys, when we play the Niners, we won't have the mismatch issues for the for opposing teams. And I think that's why I go with the Eagles as being the best team in football. Mm. Yeah, I have the Eagles also, but why I have the Niners below the Eagles, but ahead of the Cowboys, is when I look at predictions for this season – and evaluating what a team looks like through the season. I don't just ignore their past habits and behaviors, particularly in the postseason. And when I look at the Niners and Kyle Shanahan, they always find themselves there. But they're always just a little bit short, and it almost always comes down to the quarterback mm. not being special in the biggest moment. So for me, I know that the Eagles have that because we just saw that. Well, the Eagles – have Jalen Hurts. They have the same coach. Right. They have a lot of the same pieces. The Niners have the same coach, have the same quarterback, a lot of the same pieces. The Cowboys have the same quarterback, have the same coach, a, a lot of the same pieces. Now, all of them have added and subtracted, as we know we do on rosters, so it's not exactly the same team. But, man, when you're looking at evaluating the these teams, we got the core there yeah. to look at. Yeah. So, for me, I, I just want to see a little more special from Brock Purdy during the regular season to this point. Yeah. It's not that he was bad last night. It's just... You're not special. I just want to... Just, like, not that pass. You know what I mean? Just not, not that one. Like, I don't... And it, it just makes me nervous because when it does get into a tight spot, how is that going to look? Mm -hmm. We know he's the starter. We know he's the franchise right now. And I'm, I'm confident that he is and that he will continue to grow into that because, again, he hasn't even played a full season of NFL football. But if the difference is that, and that's the most important position, I'm going to go with the All-Pro... MVP runner-up who just played in the Super Bowl, who's yeah. back again that did with happen. his core pieces. That did happen. Yeah, that did happen. For me, I'm all about uh, being in the now. I don't really remember too, too, many, too many things. My wife always tell me, you wouldn't even listen to me. I'm like, I'm focused on... <laughs> we, have a, we, have, we have a whole filing yeah. cabinet. Which day was it? I'm, I'm focused on right now. You Hold said on. That yesterday. You just <laughs> said on April 21st at 4, 10 p.m. Yeah, I, I don't remember none of that. So I'm like, oh, you said, you said that yesterday? I don't even remember. So I don't remember nothing that happened last year. I'm going on my own two eyes this year. The Cowboys have really had one play to where they like, and that's when Sauce almost picked that ball off. Mm -hmm. The Eagles has had multiple. The Niners have had multiple. So when you just talk about how they're playing right now, the, the Cowboys are playing at a dominant level, and it ain't even close to anybody in the National Football League over these first two games that they have played. And that is why I'm saying they are the best team in football. And for me, as you guys know, I believe Dak Prescott is a better quarterback than Brock Purdy. And... The Niners, they're not going to keep getting away with this. And I'm going to show a couple plays of, of Brock Purdy, but, and I, I just want to bring the viewers in because y'all mentioned last week he missed a couple throws. This right here is where you going with the ball. This is a pick if George Kittle don't turn into a lockdown corner. <laughs> this is a pick. But it's showing up too much. I understand you guys. And this, like, where are you going with This is a pick. And the only reason why I'm showing these plays, Shady, because if that's Gilmore... Mm -hmm. 
that might be to the crib. The slave. If, if that's slave, yeah. Yeah. that might be to the crib. If that's the good football teams, the football teams that's ready to compete for championships, the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Cowboys, them are, those are picks. And you better believe the pressure like he just faced right there, the Eagles is coming. It's, it's the just... Cowboys is bringing that pressure. So for me, it's too many inconsistent plays for Brock Purdy right now. Is he getting away with them because they're winning and pe the other team is not capitalized on them? Yes. But when you're talking about how the play of football looks on the field right now, it's not close between the Cowboys and the 49ers. I hear you. I, I, I hear you. And those are some good plays. Those are good plays. I, I get that. But I could also show plays that he, he looked good, mm -hmm. right? Where, where last game, not the one last night, the last game before that, where he missed uh, Brandon Ayuk on, on a, on a on double a move, double move right? He missed it, overthrew it. Oh, let's run it back. Last night, same thing with Debo Sanders. He caught it on a dot, on the outside shoulder. I'm like, ooh. Another thing about Brock Purdy is he's only 10 games in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he's the last pick in the draft. He's 10 games in. He looks solid. You get to the end of the season, I'm sure he'll look better. And, and, and you talk about, because we can't talk about Jalen Hurts with the quarterback thing. That's, we, he's on the other side. He's, he's, he's different. Let's put him over here. Dak Prescott, as much pass as you want to show of, of Brock looking bad. This year, though. I mean, well. That, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't remember last year. But when the game. When, came last year. I'm saying, play, I'm, okay, no play. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't remember last when, year. When the, game, when, the, this year. when the game gets tight, right? Mm -hmm then you'll see who he really is. Because the Cowboys are not going to beat everybody like that. Mm -hmm. Right? We, we play football for a long time. I play football at a high, high level. And it don't always go like that. It don't always and go like that. And there's some games where you're going to have a first quarter where it looks bad. Mm -hmm. You've been a part of that? No you play, with, you play with Aaron Rodgers, right? No question. Have you been part of that? Yes, sir. Okay. So what I'm saying is there's going to be times where it's not going to look good. And you might struggle for the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Three and outs, three and outs. Okay, but, but whenever it clicks, it's going to look how Brock Purdy looked when he got it clicking. And that's football. America, that's football. Everything gonna be 40 to zero. No that's question. not realistic. So we'll see when, when it gets tight, and we see what that press guy looks like when it gets tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My question is, as I chime in here, is the only reason I don't have the Niners is the one right now is because I'm thinking at the point in which I feel about the Niners, how Shady feels about the Cowboys. No, they're elite. But I'm like, man, what happens when? Like a Shady, I've heard him all week about the Cowboys, but what happens when they face an opponent that will light up the scoreboard? Now, my retort to Shady has always been, I don't know if they'll face that opponent because of the defense. But where I am with Brock Purdy is, man, what, what happens when you need it? Mm. Now, I only think there's two or three teams in the National Football League that will put Brock Purdy and the Niners in that position. Cowboys, Eagles, maybe the Chiefs, and maybe the Dolphins, as it stands right now. But what, what happens when you do need that second and five, second and six, and you got to hit Emmanuel Sanders deep with the Super Bowl on the line? Mm. Like, what happens when? As it stands right now, Brock Purdy balling. I mean, he is absolutely balling. I'm just curious about what happens when. That's why Cowboys are the one to me, James, with you. No and then I have the Niners, and then I have the Eagles. Now, why do you have the Niners over the Eagles? I'm looking at how it looks right now. I'm looking at how it looks right now. Like, Jay, like I, that, that's just how I look at it. Because obviously I know what Jalen Hurts has done. No question. I know what the Eagles defense has done. Mm -hmm. I know what the Eagles offense has done. But what the Eagles defense has done and how they look this year, even as far as pass rush, not the same. Exactly. What the Eagles offense has done and what it looks like this year, even against common opponents, Vikings. Last year, Vikings, they saw week two. This year, Vikings, they saw week two. Not the same. So, but that's just how I look at ball. No I look at ball yeah, like yeah. right now. I don't, I don't necessarily look at but ball it, all that. Other well, people look at it we're talking about what they're going to, I just can't divorce. First of all, I can't just forget what I've seen. Like, I just, I'm not, I don't. I need to remember, I need to have the trauma in my bones so I can make better decisions moving forward. That's just how I am particularly wired. So I can't just forget what I've seen these players do, particularly in the postseason, and these teams do, particularly in the postseason. How they're coached, how they perform, what they do in big moments. And people, players can get better, of course. Mm -hmm. So you always have room for growth and you can make adjustments. But I am talking about, we're talking about right now, yes, the Cowboys have looked the most dominant in the league. That's not, that's not a question. They've looked the most dominant, of course. And probably the Niners have looked the second most dominant. I mean, they still won by 18. Like, it's right. the NFL. Sure. They won by 18 points last night. That's the NFL team. Those are NFL players on the other side of the ball. So it's the coach of the year on the other side of the ball. Mm. Like, we don't think they're a great team. All of them get paid professional money to play football. So it, 18 points is still a wide margin to beat somebody. I don't care what the situation is in the NFL. So they're probably the second most dominant. And then we can go on from there. Maybe it's the Dolphins, maybe it's the Eagles, whatever your flavor. I'm just saying when I think about what these teams are and what they're going to be at the end of the season, if they stay what they look like on paper, that's kind of how I am. That's where I'm speaking Can, can, can I say one thing? Because you guys are saying that you, you don't care what happened in the past. That the past doesn't matter for some, for some reason. I don't know. 
But does experience ever matter? Does that ever does that take place? Because I, I don't know. I play football and I'm wondering, does experience matter? Yeah, experience it matters. You get experience from the past. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So the past should matter somehow. Something like <laughs> because when you get to, when you put the Eagles in a situation like last year, when, when you may be losing, you need to win, and you might need a sack, you might need to play from Jalen Hurts. Guys, relax. We've been here before. Or if you haven't, you don't know how to react in the moment when the, light, when the lights are real, real bright. That's what when I, when I talk about experience, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying about the past. I'm just saying the past matters because if you've been there before, when you go there now, g relax. We've been here before. Let's go. That's a good point. Let me ask you this, though. Let's get to the nitty-gritty. I love this nuanced conversation. Outside of Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Lane Johnson, and an additional Ke offensive line. Can we get Kelsey? Uh, Kelsey, that's what Kelsey? I'm thinking of. Those, those were the Eagles players that were on that Super Bowl team. A.J. Brown. We, we could... They weren't on the Super Bowl team, right? Oh, so, okay, okay, Super Bowl okay, team. Okay. Eagles 2017 Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The Niners went to the Super Bowl with Debo, mm -hmm. with Kittle, with Trent, right. with, uh, with, with Warner, with right. the litany right. of those same players. Okay. So I, there's incomplete data for me as right. far as the Niners' lack of experience. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think the Eagles have a significant experience gap. Hurts, Purdy, duh. But I don't think the Eagles as a roster well, and the Niners as a well, roster have a significant experiential gap. Where do you stand? Well, you good, boy. You good, boy. That's why they pay you the money they pay you. Because you said win a Super Bowl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk about getting to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's, the that's, Niners. That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's hard to do. Uh, so, that's hard to do. So, there weren't more players that are on the team now from last year where the Eagles played in the, in the Super Bowl than there are in the Niners. Yeah, okay. there, there were. But I'm saying, I, I mentioned like the stars, like the impact players. Like, that's why I said Kittle. I said Debo. I said. Yeah, but the Eagles were in the Super Bowl in February. Mm -hmm. Come, come months but ago. they lost, though. They didn't win it, though. Neither did the Niners. Yeah, I know. So, oh, the, wait, so team, how are they not in the same? How are they yeah. not the same? No, I'm saying they are. I'm saying experientially, I don't see a huge experiential gap between the Niners from, from, and the Eagles from one team, outside of the quarterback. I'm saying from one team that 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 went. Went, yeah. Like mm -hmm. once, like I know what it feels like to be here. Like yes, we're I'm here saying, compared to Tino. No, damn, what's that feel like? Hey, no, Shady, I'm talking about the, hey Shady, how's that feel to be? <laughs> I can I can tell him. I can, you can Fred tell Warner, him. you call me up. I got you, no, bro. No, well, here's what I'm saying. Remember, the Niners went to the Super Bowl in '19. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's the the information I omitted. Oh, okay. The Niners went to the Super Bowl in '19. Warner was in the Super Bowl. Was in the Super Bowl. Yes. Debo was in the Super Bowl. Kittle was, uh, in, the Kittle was in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I'm talking about the night. Yeah, but Purdy wasn't. Yes, that's why. Wasn't. Yes, that's and why Zach I said wasn't that. And wasn't in the NFC Championship game. Correct. That's it, why I said Purdy and, 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 and Hurts. When you talk about years, I was playing in. I was in the Super Bowl 2019. <laughs> Compared to a couple months ago, it's two different things, right? Like, like even when I went to the the, um, the camp when they were going against the Colts, the scrimmage, and they kept talking about how we got to get back to the Super Bowl. Everything was like, oh wow, they had they they had a journey they didn't complete. They got so close. Mm -hmm. It's like playing a video game. You beat everybody up, get to that last board, the, the, the main guy, and you lose. We've been there, so we know how to get back there. And everything they talked about from the meetings and from the practices is like, yo, we got to get back to that point. We know where we messed up at. Now we got to go fix it. Yeah. Where other teams, like you talking about the Niners, like they, they don't know what that feels like. The Cowboys, they don't know what that feels like. Cowboys Maybe Emmitt Smith <laughs> may know. <laughs> True, Amy may know what that feels like. Uh -huh. Prime time ain't know. But not the new dudes. <laughs> I look, mean, at it, look at his, look at his I, face. I'm just yeah. saying, ex experience can be overrated. Wow. And the reason why, you say? Oh, Break that the down reason why I say that is because we won the Super Bowl, and the only person on our team that's been to a Super Bowl was Charles Woodson. Mm. And we beat the Steelers, who Ben's been there. James Harrison's been there. Palomalu's been there. Mm -hmm. A bunch of, Ryan Clark has been, it was a bunch of dudes on their roster that have been in the Super Bowl. And we come in there as young pups, like, it's over for y'all. Yeah. You, so, so for me, sometimes experience is, is a little bit overrated to me. Because if it came down to experience, the Niners would be in the last three, four Super Bowls. James, the only the Keep only in mind, thing, Charles Woodson got hurt. The only no thing, doubt he I broke mean, his collarbone like, in that game. The only thing I can't ignore. The easy one. Go ahead and say it. You had that dude. I understand what right. you had. That matters, though. That's a, that's a bad man. I understand, I know you know but I'm just saying man. that was Aaron's first real playoff know, run, too. That was man. Aaron's first Super Bowl, no, 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 too. No, no. And I, I know, know he was a bad man. That's I argue with anybody man. about that all day. But what I'm saying is experience could sometimes be overrated. Because like I say, <laughs> the Niners have been in a couple NFC championships, and they have not found a way to get it done. Here's what's interesting, though, real quick. That is a bad man, but that wasn't at the time. I mean, he was bad like, enough to make whoa, him sit three whoa, years whoa. behind Brett Favre. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> we play, so they played us first at home in Philadelphia. Oh, they beat slap, us, slap. right? Yep. That whole week we were saying, "Oh my God, this this quarterback is this. He's that. He that. He that." I didn't even know. I, I never knew of him, but you know, you never really watched the the, the, well, all, the other team's offense. Yep. They were saying how great this quarterback was, but yes. I'm saying that was pre. Uh, he'd only played one playoff game at the time. Exactly. Checking, but but. 
that you was, see what I'm saying? A Hall like, of Fame talent is Hall of Fame talent. No doubt. Sure. Patrick Mahomes before he played was no, still Patrick no, Mahomes. Sure. But I'm yeah. saying you have to earn that. Like, like, so let's earn these numbers. Look yeah. at his playoff numbers. <laughs> Look at them playoff numbers. You tell me if that's Hall of Fame no, bound. We said him yesterday. Three touchdowns, no picks, week yeah. one against the Eagles. Three, three hundred yards. Yep. Three touchdowns, Should've no picks. Four, no, because three touchdowns, no picks, week two. Three hundred yards again. No touchdowns. I think two picks, week three, game three, but y'all still won against the Bears. Cold out there, boy. And then in the Super Bowl, three touchdowns, no picks. Nine touchdowns, two interceptions. There's some. There's some guys that's experienced that, that, that don't do that. The difference is we got a Hall of See, we got a Hall of Fame quarterback. This is, this is the reason why quarterbacks get paid so much money. Mm -hmm. If your team, you have a sorry team, but you have a Hall of Fame type quarterback, that makes the difference. I guess what I'm saying is, at the time, we didn't know who Aaron Rodgers was. No now, I'm not putting Brock Purdy in the Hall of Fame because y'all might scoff at me. Now, in 20 years from now, y'all may be like, Acho, you should have put him there. I'm not putting Purdy there. I'm just saying... Brock Purdy currently has more playoff wins going into this season than Aaron Rodgers had going into your Super Bowl. And I, and I hear you. I hear you. I just, we're talking, we're talking about a lot of, like, philosophical things in this conversation. It's fun. So it's, like, experience and, like, reality. And talent. Dominant and stuff. But, like, like, again, like, I just can't, I can't forget that it was Aaron Rodgers. Like, we didn't know then that 100% yeah. that it was Aaron Rodgers. But, like, somebody knew because they made him sit three years and, like, you know what I mean? They drafted him, yeah. replaced Brett Favre who's a Hall of mm. Famer, and he was like, he's, like, really good. But what I'm saying is Brock Purdy is not on Aaron Rodgers' level, and we got so much belief in the Niners. So, so that's, that's, that's my thing. Like, like what's, the, what's the belief in the Niners? Brock Purdy's not Aaron Rodgers? He's, no. He's, he's not Aaron Rodgers, but he's good enough for that team, for that system. And you talked about the experience with Aaron Rodgers. Like, for example, there's players that you watch on tape that may not have the, the accolades yet. But you like, yo, you know we that dude. When I first played Derwin James, yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, even, watch, I don't even watch college stuff like that, especially back then. I do now because, you know, my work, but I didn't watch that. I'm like, boy, who, who, who is this dude? I didn't even know his name. His number was like, whatever his number was, who, who's he? You knew it. When you watched, you talked about Aaron Rodgers not having much uh, playoff experience. Cool, you said that. When the defense put him on tape, they like, bro, who, who, this, who this 12? Who, who is this guy? No question. Because you already know that. But the thing with Brad Party is that when you watch their team, and this dude is, what, 10 games in? Yeah. You know he's going to get way, way better when it gets to the playoff time. Because mm. they're winning games now. And you granted, and granted, he, he showed some plays that he didn't look great at. But I see some plays he look, really looked really, really good last, mm -hmm. last night. So I just think that Brock Purdy in that system, he's doing really, really well. That's a good team. They run the ball. They got a lot of talent. I just don't think they're better than the Eagles. That's all. But I like the Niners. The Niners are really, really good. And he's the second best quarterback in the NFC. Uh, no, this is a, one of the most fascinating <laughs> conversations no, we've had. Who won? Wait, who, who won, though? I won. We, we were the same team. Yeah, Yo, this is the second time you did today. <laughs> <laughs> the Joy Taylor Show. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.